This is a Stripe payment tutorial. So if you are a beginner and you would like to know how to use Stripe, then let's jump inside of my computer and I'm gonna show you a couple of very useful features. All right, welcome to your Stripe dashboard. This is where you're going to see your kind of business overview. You're gonna see how much money you've made today. As you can see, I haven't made any money today. Then if you scroll down, you can see your overview so you can sort it by you know today, last seven days, last four weeks, and all time, right? Then you can see here your gross volume, your net volume from sales, uh, you can see the fail payments right here. You can see the new customers in this period. Um, you can see your top customers by spend. You can see your invoices, successful payments, spend per customer, etc. Right. So this is kind of your overview here. Now there are a couple of very useful things here at the top. Now if you have different businesses, you can click here on this arrow right here, and you will be able to select different businesses. Right. In this case, we're just going to stick with this one thing. On in the top right corner right here, you can see you have the settings and you have the profile. So this is where you can actually manage all of your um, business settings, like your name, your uh, tax account numbers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So all of this is managed right here. Um, let's actually click on payments and see what here is on payments. So here you will see it's an overview of all of the payments that happened in your business, right? You will see their status. So for example, it's incomplete, successful, refunded, failed, etc. Then you also have here disputes. So if you have some kind of disputes, you will be able to find them in this section right here. Now let's click on to fraud and risk. So this is where you'll be able to see an overview of the fraudulent and risky transactions that Stripe detected, right? So sometimes what's going to happen is, you know, someone is going to try to pay, but uh, Stripe is going to block that payment and say, hey, we've detected a fraudulent activity. So that's why we blocked it. Okay. And this is where you'll be able to see all of this information. Now, next, let's click on to balances. Here, you'll be able to see your balance and your payouts and when they're scheduled uh, to arrive in your bank account. As you can see, the total balance right here is zero right now. Then the next one is called incoming to Stripe. So this is the estimated future payout, right? This is the payouts that are scheduled to automatically send daily. Now, if you click here, this is where you will be able to change the settings of your payout. So let's say, for example, that right now it's set to automatic uh, payout every day. You can click here and you can change it to every week and every month. However, you need to be aware that the payout speed right here in which your funds are available to pay out after successful payments you, I have two options. I have the standard payout speed and I have the accelerated payout speed. That is because I'm eligible for free accelerated payouts, right? Because I've been kind of established with my accounts. Most likely you won't be able to select accelerated payout speed only after you reach certain amount of transactions and volume, then you'll be able to have this option available. Okay. So this is where you manage the payout schedule and the payout speed. And also this is where you manage the accounts where your money is going to be sent to. Okay. So let's go back to our balances and here below, you're going to see all of your recent deposits, right? So how much was withdrawn? paid, failed, etc. Okay, now let's go to customers. Okay, so here is where you will be able to see all of the customers in your business, right? You'll be able to see their name, their email address, uh, their default payment method, how much they have spent totally, the number of payments they have done, have they done any refunds or not, the last payment, when the customer was created, and etc. So this is a very useful uh, tool for you, right? For example, you can sort here by, you know, by top customers. If you click here, you'll be able to see who has spent the most in your business, right? Then you can see to, uh, you know, who has repeat customers. So if someone has spent, um, you know, multiple times, you can see this customer customer right here has bought nine times from my business, which is exactly what you want, right? Um, then you have also, you know, recent customers, etc. So there's a lot of different filters here that you can play around, kind of sort and go through your customers. Um, and this is super handy. Now, if you click through into one of your customers, you'll be able to see some more information. So you can see right here that he is a top spender. You can see how much he has spent totally. Some of his details right here, they're going to be blurred, but you know, the address and you know, the billing address, etc. So, all right, let's go now to products. So depending on how you're going to use Stripe is going to determine how you're going to use these products. So let's say that you would like to charge people directly from Stripe. So what you can do is you can actually click on add a product and this is where you will be able to create a product. Okay. So this is actually very useful. So let's say that I would like to offer some 
coaching, right? I can upload some kind of an image here. Then you can add your description. You need to make sure that it's going to be below 250 characters. So this is actually pretty short. You also have some additional options right here, which I don't usually use to be honest, because they're all optional. But if you want, you can add a couple of these options right here. Then you go into your pricing information. This is where you'll be able to choose the pricing model. So you have actually five different options. You have standard pricing, you have package pricing, graduated pricing, volume pricing, and customer chooses the price, right? So for example, if customer chooses the price, then the customer will be able to decide how much they would like to pay you, okay? This is sometimes uh, as used by different music bands. Um, you can have volume pricing. So depending on how much they buy, you can have different prices right here. So let's say that, you know, one unit, they're going to pay 10 euro, but for, you know, two units, they're going to pay 20 euros okay or let's say that they're going to pay with a discount at 17 euros okay so you can see that volume pricing is also really really handy and if you want to add another tier you can just click add another tier right here but the most popular one of course is the standard pricing right so let's say that we're going to charge you know 97 euros now this is where it gets fun you can have it either a recurring and then you can choose the billing period, right? So let's say that once a month or every once every three months or yearly or however often you want to do, you want to charge $9.97, right? So let's say that you have some kind of a community, right? Or something else, right? And you want to charge, let's say, $47 or 49 euros recurring monthly, Okay, so now once the person subscribes to the thing, and I'm going to show you in a second how to actually do uh, like a like a link, like a product page where they can subscribe every month, they're going to build be billed automatically 49 euros, or you can also change the currency here. It's USD or whatever. In my case, it's going to be euro. Okay, or also you can just do it one time. Okay, recurring is fun, and this is what a lot of people uh, do nowadays. Okay, so you can also add another price, but for now, we're just going to keep it super simple. Let's keep it like this and let's click on save products. Okay, so now you've created the product. You can see that it is a monthly subscription thing, right? We're paying 49 euros a month for this coaching session. And now what we're going to do is we can actually click right here on create payment link. Okay, so once you click onto the product, okay, so product, click onto the product create payment link. So if you create payment link, you will be able to actually have the link to your product thing where people can subscribe using, you know, Apple Pay or Google Pay or whatever it is, or just their credit card, right? So you can you can design your payment page right here. You can collect customer's address. You can require customers to provide a phone number. You can include a free trial or you have some advanced options as well. You can also add another product. So there are many different things that you can um, add here. You can also add a custom field. So let's say, for example, that you want to have, uh, you know, text and you want to say like, hey, what's your Instagram handle, right? So I can find you, for example, right? And you will see it right there. What's your Instagram handle? And they will be able to write it. And if you say, if you don't mark it as optional, they will need to enter it to check out. But if you mark it as optional, then of course it becomes optional, okay? Then you can also design the after payment one. So right now it says, thanks for subscribing. A payment to uh, will appear on your statement, but you can also, um, you know, replace the default with custom message. So you say um, whatever it is, you know, hey, thanks. I'm going to reach out to you on Instagram or whatever it is. Right. And then, of course, post payment invoice. This is what they will see uh, what's going to be in their email. All right. Once you've designed this, right, once you have this, let's say that I'm I wrote something here. You can click on create link right here. So I'm going to click create link. And now you'll be able to copy this link and send it to your customers, right? So if we go to a new page and we search it up, this is going to be our live checkout page on Stripe, okay? So once someone enters their email, <laughs> their Instagram handle, and all their inf card information here, they'll be able to check out, right? And now they're going to be on our subscription for 49 euros a month, all right? So this is super useful, super easy to use. Um, and yeah, you're gonna love this. You can also create a QR code, for example. Um, so you can create a QR code. You can now download this image, for example, and you can, you know, paste it on uh, your hoodie if you want or whatever it is, uh, or you're on a bus or something. And yeah, it's going to be super useful as well. So there's a lot of options here inside of Stripe. 
right? So this is the product section. You also have some other things like coupons, for example, where you can create like a discount code. Um, you have some shipping rates right here where you can add your shipping rate if you're selling some kind of a physical product, right? But now let's move on to the billing section. Here in the billing section, you will be able to see all of the information happening with the billing, right? So let's say that you wanna see who is subscribed to your thing. So if you click on subscriptions here, you will be able to see all of the people. I don't have anyone right now here at the moment, but if you do have some people subscribed, you will be able to see them right here. Next one is reports. Stripe offers you many different reports, right? You can do conversion performance, balances, payout reconciliations, revenue recognitions. Like there's a lot of things here, right? For tax uh, purposes or whatever it is you want, you'll be able to find all of the reporting and analytics here. In the section connects right here, this is where you'll be able to integrate Stripe with whatever third party you want. So let's say for example, you wanna integrate it with MailChimp or DocuSign or some kind of a tax accounted software or you know, Squarespace, Shopify, or whatever, you can just simply click find a partner. And here you'll be able to see all of the different partners that are available to be connected with Stripe, right? So, so let's say for example, that I wanna search for Wix, and you can see right here, Wix, if you click through, then you will be able to get more information about it, right? So you will be able to see how you can connect Wix with uh, Stripe. And lastly here, if you click more, this is where you'll be able to see a lot more of Stripe's kind of apps and different, you know, products that they have and features. To be honest, I don't usually use much of any of these, so I haven't really discovered them myself. You can go ahead and play around with these and see which one is useful for you. But to be honest, all of these right here, the ones I've noticed, the ones I've mentioned, those are kind of the most uh, popular ones, right? And then these are all um, kind of additional ones. Now, lastly, if you click on the settings right here, this is where you will be able to set all of your business up, right? So you have the account details, you have the uh, public details, the business details, right? The bank account. So all of the settings that you need, these are all found right here. This is where you can customize the branding, you can set the bank account, you can download the documents for reporting and taxes, and all of this is here. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.